Hi everyone, this is Patrick. Welcome to the third part of my video tutorial from zero to sidekick for Red Hat JBoss BPM Suite. In the first two parts of the tutorial, we installed BPM Suite and we created a repository to store our artifacts in. And the screen that you're seeing now is uh, right the place where we left after the second movie. So what we will do now is we will create a data structure or data model that we will use throughout this video tutorial. And we'll do so by using the data modeler which is part of the BPM tool. Um, it's a very nice and simple to use tool that you can use but you don't have to if you already have a data model somewhere or jar files with your data model you could also import that but uh, for the sake of learning how to use the product we will use product capabilities wherever possible so let's jump right into tools and data modeler So what we'll do now is we'll create a new object which we will call in short object which is the house or whatever we want to do the insurance for because our sample is going to be an insurance thing. And as the package we will use our previously created repository and the package structure in it. Okay, so we have created our first object and we will now create the elements in it. We'll start with address I always confused on German English spelling. So to circumvent that we'll just call it street. What you can do here in the label label field is getting set entering or predefining a label that we will get when we use this field later on when we start doing the forms modeling. So we'll call this street as well. And it's from type string. The next one is going to be uh, called type. And with this we'll mean the type of the house that we're going to insure. As this is going to be a household insurance sample. So there could be a condo, could be a flat, could be a semi-detached, whatever um, object. This is going to be a string. Next field is, let's call it town. And guess what? It's going to be a string. Then we needed the zip code. And we use an integer for this. The contract should have some kind of start date. And we need to know the size. square meter. This is the English abbreviation for it. And there's going to be an integer as well. So now we have created our object. The next thing we'll do is we'll create a contract. This is where we will store the contract data put it in the same package. 
So the contract will have an amount. This is what the person who is interested in the contract will have to pay for his insurance. Then we will have a discount which could be positive or negative, so I'm not going to differentiate between discounts and uplifts, just for the sake of simplicity again. Then the, the insurings will have different types. So like quality, if you have bronze, silver, or gold, or standard, or premium. And for later usage and maybe additional um, rules, we will also give it a channel. And meant by this is uh, how did the contract come to existence? Was it a web based? Was it a broker based? Or whatever suits the idea. So now we have our contract ready and last but not least we of course need someone who owns the insurance and please forgive me if they're the names that I give are not really the best choice um, as you probably by now figure it out I'm not a native English so We'll have first name, of type, oops, of type string. We'll have last name, of type string. Uh, we'll have the place where the person lives. And I think this should be sufficient. So we have our data model ready. All three objects are defined. And in the next part of the video, we will look into first rules, how they could be applied to these objects. So stay tuned.